Hi there. As researchers, we typically spend hundreds of hours every year reading papers, but the approach we take to our reading is often relatively ineffective. In this video, I'm going to show you a more diligent approach to reading research papers that will prevent you from drowning in the details and will unlock a deeper understanding of your reading. Start by uploading your research papers to a table in Protolist. In this case, I'm using a table called Research Papers. You can drag and drop files, or click the New button and choose the file type. On your first read-through of a paper, it's important to highlight and take notes, with the goal of being able to summarise the paper to someone else, preferably with supporting evidence. Of course, start with the title. Usually, you can identify key hypotheses, methods and results from this alone. Add context to your annotations so you can more easily digest them later. As you move to reading the abstract, ask yourself, why was this paper written? What is the gap in our knowledge that the authors are trying to fill? What is the motivation? Highlight and capture key insights that answer these questions, adding context where possible. Usually, I skim through the introduction, focusing on the first and last paragraphs, as these often have helpful summaries of the primary hypotheses and research aims. Here, I found a great summary of the key outputs of the study. If you haven't yet highlighted the primary research methods from the title, abstract or introduction, it can be worth briefly reading the methods section to identify key experimental techniques. Otherwise, I like to focus my attention on the results and discussion sections. Capture any important findings that may or may not prove the hypothesis that the authors are trying to test. This first read-through is usually quick and aims to attain a bird's-eye view of the paper. Now, by opening our Pages Properties sidebar and clicking the Atoms tab, with the aid of your captured snippets of knowledge, you should be able to quickly grasp the content of the paper with annotations pointing directly to the key information. When looking to understand the paper at greater depth, reread the research with an emphasis on contextualising and scrutinising the results and methods sections. Look for limitations in the research, including implicit assumptions, missing citations to relevant work, and potential issues with experimental or analytical techniques. In Protolist, you can begin to add tags to your captured insights. In this case, I want to collate all of the limitations I identify with a limitation tag. Where possible, always try to highlight any references that have been cited that could be useful to you as further reading. I'll use my further reading tag to identify these. At the end of this pass, you should be very comfortable with the structure of the study or paper and able to identify its strengths and weaknesses. You can quickly explore your annotations using the search bar, capitalising on the tags and context you added to pinpoint key findings and analyse related information. To draw comparisons across your papers, return to your research papers table and add an atoms property by interacting with the table header. Use the filters to only display information related to specific tags so you can quickly gain oversight of topics and themes across a collection of literature. By taking a more disciplined and diligent approach to reading research papers, you will unlock a deeper understanding of your literature faster, whilst also building a knowledge base to expedite analysis and provide oversight into all of your reading. To see how to use your new knowledge base to inform your writing, watch our video, How to Write a Well-Evidenced Essay. Thanks for listening, and happy reading!